Hey guys, finally sleeps here. A few of my league mates were asking yesterday about completing matches with the dribbling requirement. There's some confusion on what exactly a dribble is. Some people feel it's when you roulette around a defender. Others say it's when you run with the ball for a specific distance up the pitch. I disagree with both of those explanations because I don't think it's that simple. But first, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube, turn on notifications so you never miss a video once it goes live. You can also check out finallysleeps.com where I post my best tips and more. Plus, that's where we give access to my members-only market videos. Those come out every Wednesday. Moving on, let's get back to those match requirements. Now, according to right-wing menopausal Barbie Laura Ingram, all you have to do is shut up and dribble. Unfortunately, it's just not that simple. Or maybe it is, but just don't tell LeBron. Okay, now a dribble, for the purpose of completing matches with the dribbling requirement, is advancing up the field beyond a defender while maintaining possession of the ball. That's simple enough. It, it basically boils down to two factors. Uh, advancing up the field beyond a defender and maintaining possession. That's the two. Now for the first part, you just need to take the ball beyond a lateral defender. It doesn't matter how close you are to that defender. Okay, watch this defender. I've got him circled right here. That defender on the other side of the field, that's who we're going to advance past to earn the dribble. See, you could be on the opposite side of the field and it still counts. There's no roulette required. It's just advancing up the field past a defender from the opposing team. You know, let's just watch the full match and keep count of the dribbles as they happen. Make sure you're watching the ball carrier advance past defenders, not just in the vicinity of the ball, but laterally along the length of the field. Think of it like the line of scrimmage when calling an attacking player offside. You don't necessarily have to roulette past a defender, and we can stop with the roulette bullshit. Seriously, I mean, it's a Maradona, okay? Let's stop calling it the roulette. It is a Maradona. Just saying. So now for the second part, uh, did I lose you? Remember, there was the first part of the dribble was advancing beyond a defender. The second part is that you must maintain possession. That means that once you advance up the field beyond a defender, you either have to complete a pass or take a shot on goal in order to dribble, in order for that dribble to count. If now, if you run 60 yards up the field and overtake five players on the opposing team but lose the ball inside the 18, all five of those dribbles, they don't count. Now, if you've advanced past two defenders on a single carry of the ball, then complete a pass or shot without losing possession, guess what? It counts as two dribbles. As you can pay attention to this and you see what the count is. But, like I just said, if you advance beyond the, those five players but lose possession, you get zero. Now, if you need to pad your numbers, take two players... Uh, preferably in the middle of the field where there's little pressure and start a pass, dribble, pass, just start that chain. So you're going to pass forward to a player, dribble past the defender, turn it around, play it back, and then just start a little circle like that between the two. As long as you advance beyond a defender and then drop the ball back to your other player, you still get credit. Just repeat that as often as it is necessary to complete the requirements. Okay, so we're right here. We're at 73 minutes in the match. Um, we'll let this get back out. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start the chain. We dribble forward past the defender. We're going to... There you go. See how we're gaining dribbles just by getting ahead of that defender at the midline and sending it forward. So now we're up to 31. Lost possession. We've got five minutes left in the, the match. We're at 31 currently. If we pass it now, we're at 32. 32. That's where we're going to hold it. We'll see here when it comes and make sure. 32 passes or dribbles. There you go. 32 dribbles when the requirement was 15. 32 passes as well. But that's the dribbling requirement. And once you understand that, and it doesn't matter about actually 
passing a defender, getting around ahead of a defender. As long as you're advancing up the field and then you complete the pass, those two factors is what makes the difference. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for hanging out with me for a while. Check out all the links below and maybe continue on with another video from the channel. As long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos.